Hi, welcome to the introductory algebra. Today, dividing by a monomial. This is really straightforward. We really have already done this. So if you've been watching my videos all the way through, um, there's nothing new here in this section. Okay, we're just gonna kind of take it one teensy little step farther and it should be a piece of cake for you. Okay, if you, if you liked dividing monomials that we did before, this is really the same thing. All we're going to do is we're going to divide each piece. And so here's what we have. 9x cubed minus 6x squared minus 12x, all divided by 3x. Now, I do want to pause here for just a second and really stress something. This section, dividing by a monomial, is really nice, really easy, can be done really by almost anybody without any trouble. Um, I like your chances. Um, but what makes it easy is that the denominator, the thing we're dividing by, is just a monomial. In the next section, if you go ahead and watch that next video, we're going to divide by things that are bigger than monomials. I think actually we'll be working with binomials there, but it could be even bigger. Um, but, and unfortunately, that is a lot harder. So the first thing you want to really focus on when you start learning how to do this division is, how many pieces am I dividing by? If it's just one, like this example, it's going to be a really pretty straightforward problem. If it's more than one piece, that's going to be messier. Uh, generally, people don't like it as much. So, you know, pay attention. There's no reason to do a problem like this one the hard way that we're going to learn in the next section. All right, so anyway, here we go. I just split it up. I take each thing on the top, 9x cubed, 6x squared, and 12x, and I divide them all separately by 3x. So this really is something we did earlier in this chapter. 9 divided by 3 is 3, and remember to subtract your exponents. So 3 minus 1 gives me x squared minus sign. 6 divided by 3 is 2, 2 minus 1 gives me just an x, and 12 divided by 3 is 4, so I get a minus 4, and those x's drop out. And really, that's this entire section. So I have one more little example I want to look at with, at with you, but that's really it. So I like, I, you know, this is why I, like, I call this the easy division. The next section, it's messy. This is pretty straightforward, but I have one more thing I do want to show you, so let's get it on the board. Okay, so for I, I still have the title of the section over here, so don't worry about that I'm blocking it. Um, this example, x squared plus x over x. A really common mistake people make here is to say, hey, look, I've got an x on the top and an x on the bottom. Let me just get rid of them. They basically do this, goodbye, and they call it x squared. Unfortunately, that doesn't work. Okay, Because the, this x is connected to the x squared by addition, we're not allowed to do that. So... This is, you know, this is the division we were just talking about, though. I can take it instead and split it up into two separate little division problems. x squared divided by x, which is x, and then x divided by x, which is 1. So please be careful. When you have addition, you're not allowed to just cancel things out. It's a really common mistake. It's unfortunate when people do it, but they do it all the time. So if you do, you're not alone, but it still doesn't make it, make it a good thing to do. So there you go. That's dividing by monomial. So have a great day.